a little tight. Must have pumped these two damn guns like a thousand freaking times today. Hi guys, welcome back to Airgun Evolution. Quick video, the new Days Y80 here. I just want, I, I got a toy I want to put on it. I want to test it on this one before I test it on mine. I was spending way too much time on eBay. I found this. Now this is a muzzle adapter and I think this will fit the 880. It is specifically designed for the Crossman 2100, but let me just test it on here real quick and see if it goes on snug. This should work. Here's the adapter right here. It has a groove milled out for the front sight, threaded muzzle protector right here on the end, and a grub screw on the bottom to keep everything lined up with our test 880. Just looking through it, everything seems to be lined up. Okay, ooh, ooh, don't drop that. So we'll use just enough torque and enough pre pressure just to properly round out everything and snap the Allen key off. Yeah, yeah, no, that that properly rounded right now. Hopefully the grub screw isn't rounded, it's just the Allen key. Let's get this thing set up. And I just so happen to have a Donnie FL Ronin. I'm not gonna be an idiot like I did with the uh, Benjamin 392. I'm gonna actually stick something down there and make sure everything lines up before I shoot it and hit a baffle. I found a wire sign holder, you know, for like the political signs and stuff. We use them here at the gun range to hold targets up and stuff. And it's just long enough where, let's see how far that went in. I'm gonna use my phone. I wonder if I can open the breech and see in this way. Well, nothing to it but to try it, right? I think uh, three pumps for the first one, and the only reason I'm doing three pumps is I just want to make sure it has enough oomph to go out in a flatter, straighter trajectory. Three. Let's see here. Oh my god, I loved it, and it hit damn near perfect. This is amazing. All right, full 10 pumps. I don't even know if I was recording the last shot I took, so I'll take it again. All right, ready? 10 shots, or 10 pumps, 10 pumps. Ten. I don't know why I keep doing a little pop on the end, like that's gonna actually seat it or lock it in. It doesn't really even need that at all. It's just me being weird. All right. Oh my God, every single time I shoot, this is amazing. The Ronin is just what I had quick to grab. So my final suppressor choice for this gun would probably be a, a Sumo, not the Ronin, just cause you know, you don't really need all this to quiet this down. A Sumo would probably be just fine and sound just as quiet. But I'm gonna do a quick comparison. I'm gonna put the camera out at 15 yards, take two shots suppressed, two shots unsuppressed, move it into seven, two shots, two shots, move it in closer, two shots, two shots. And then I'll do some groups. I'll do a 10 shot group. Okay, we're here next to my target. So I'm gonna take two shots suppressed, two shots unsuppressed, move it in two and two, move it in two and two. But the very first shot I take with each I will not be aiming for my target, so you should not hear the pellet impact. So it will be just pure gun muzzle sound. The second shot I take will be at the target, so you should hear muzzle sound and impact. Hope that makes sense. Two and two, but the first one of the two will be in the air or back in the woods, and the second one will be at the target. So it'll be suppressed in the air, unsuppressed in the air, suppressed at the target, suppressed unsuppressed at the target. Yeah. Fifteen yards that was. Seven yards. Uh, let's just see. I'm just gonna rough guesstimate this. All right, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish. All right. 
I was zooming in to me. So suppressed 10 pumps into the air-ish. Not at the target. Suppressed into the target. All right, suppressed into the air, 10 pumps. Unsuppressed into the air, 10 pumps. We'll do suppressed at the target, 10 pumps. And all you safety Nazis out there, when I say into the air, like there's a, there's a freaking forest right there and a giant berm, so calm down. Unsuppressed at the target. 10 pumps. Suppressed at the target, 10 pumps. Why not? One more time. Actually, we'll do this. We'll do an almost instantaneous side-by-side -side comparison. Suppressed and unsuppressed. Let's see here. I'll aim it at the 60 yard foam back here. Let me see it one more time. Alright, suppressed and unsuppressed simultaneous. Suppressed first, unsuppressed second. There is a difference. Is it worth it to go out if you have a $35 air rifle and buy a $180 suppressor for it? Absolutely not. No, don't be stupid. Why would you do that? Are you crazy? No, don't. Stop. Don't do it. If you already have a $180 suppressor or any suppressor with a one half by 20 UNF and you have a Daisy 880 lying around or a Crossman 2100 and you just want to have fun and play and get a $30 adapter, yeah, why not? Go for it. Buy it. It's cheap enough, right? I think I covered everything. Oh, final groups, right? Let's do that. I was touching the first shot. That's good, that's good, that's touching. Three of them touching. Oh, that was a really crappy round. Oh my God, that one was so poor. That one was good. Maybe just, I mean, they are unsorted crossman pellets. I don't know, I'm not really looking at them when I put them in. You hear all the excuses I'm coming up with? They're really good, right? Take them down. You can use them with your hunting buddies. I got a million of them right now. That one was good. That was a damn good round. Maybe this gun's hitting now. That was good. I think that was nine. One more for ten. That one was shitty. All right, let's go look. So seven out of the 10 went in here and we got three errant flyers for whatever reason. This is a group out of my personal 880, the unsuppressed one, the one I've been shooting unsuppressed. There's 10 rounds in there. And if you look, I mean, it's starting to tighten up being a brand new gun, just shooting it. I'm gonna put three more rounds in there, see if I can't get them all in there. Eh, maybe. Can't tell where that one went. So after looking, that last one I just shot that I couldn't tell, grouped well up with the others, not down low. That one grouped good. I'm excited, hopefully this one will group good. And it did. Perfect, wonderful. So I've just taken three more shots and they're all in the upper group. There are 10 rounds in this group right here. Total, 13 rounds were fired. I, these ones went a little low, a little wonky. I don't know why. I'm not gonna make an, up an excuse for them. I don't know why those three went low. Could be the gun, could be the pellets, could be anything. But I did get 10 rounds in there. This is my gun, so 
this is a, a, almost a little tighter. So the suppressor does not affect accuracy. I just shot it and although I had three, three of them go wonky, I don't know why, 10 of them did go in a nice tight group out there. Good results I'm thinking. There's only one thing left to do and that is take this off and see if any damage it did to the barrel or the barrel shroud actually. So the only mark or damage it actually left, and I honestly wouldn't even call this damage because it just appears it just rubbed off the finish, which honestly putting a grub screw in there, what do you expect? Is this little tiny mark right there, and I'm perfectly okay with that. After seeing that, I'm perfectly comfortable putting this on my personal Daisy 880 and my Crossman 2100, which it was originally designed for. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, do it at a later day. I'm gonna take it hunting. Hell yeah, I am. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.